Morning guys. Morning everyone. So we're here today for another travel day. We're going to be flying from Manchester to La One to Tenerife. Yeah, so I've never been to Tenerife before so I'm excited to see the sights. Yeah, I've only ever been as a kid to be fair, but um, it's, you know, a bit of winter sun. And we're going for this one's birthday. Yeah, we're going for my birthday, so, you know, any, any excuse, really. <laughs> so we've just come up the escalator into the food quarter. We've got this place here, I'm not quite sure of its name. There is a giraffe over there, and then there is Bar Manchester. So we'll see which has got the shortest queue, and we will join it. So we've headed into the Grain Loft, which is the restaurant I didn't know the name of. Let's have a quick look at the breakfast. I'm gonna get the traditional breakfast and Dane's looking at getting the big breakfast roll. At the Grain Loft as well you do order at your table so you just scan the QR code, pick your meal and then pay and then they bring it over within five to ten minutes. Our drinks have arrived, we're both having a pint of beer and moretti. Dane was saying as well that the wait time is dependent on the time that you come in so it might not be five to ten minutes just to clarify on my other point. So this is my traditional breakfast with a piece of toast. It was one twenty nine extra for the toast and I swapped out a fried egg for a poached egg. And then Dane's gone for the, was it the ultimate breakfast bar? Yes. Like breakfast all polished off. Uh, yeah, that was uh, pretty decent. We're the Tenerife flight there at 7.35. So we're just walking down towards the flight now. Breakfast was really good. It came to 32 quid in total, uh, which is, you know, Pretty expensive for what it was, but it is airport prices, so what are you gonna do? Yeah, gate 27, due to take off about 50 minutes, it said it went straight from relaxed to boarding. So, yeah. We're not relaxed anymore. Not relaxed anymore. We're Triggered. charging down. Yeah. Can't quite see the front, but this is the plane we'll be flying with. Looks like a pretty small one compared to some of the others we've flown with, so hopefully, um, hopefully it's a decent flight. We did actually originally brought this for the 2nd of November, but we're flying two days earlier, and I think we've all sat on the aisle seat in the front row, basically, so hopefully that's a good flight experience, we'll see. Okay, so we've just arrived in Tenerife. Here we are, it's so lovely. There's a lovely breeze, but it's still really nice and warm as well. The flight was really good, so I think that's the best flight I've had with EasyJet. Oh, sorry, I'm blinded. Um, <laughs> yeah, so we, we were sat front row. Uh, we'll let, put some B footage in here, but basically we were sat front row. We had loads of leg room, and it was great. Yeah, no complaints whatsoever. Yeah, so we weren't sat next to each other. We were on the aisle seats. Sadly, that meant we couldn't get the nice scenic takeoff and landing, but you'll live without that. I'm sure you've seen it enough. Yeah, time. you've seen you've seen a plane take off before. <laughs> uh, we're going to try and find the bus now, and um, yeah, we'll let you know what what's good with the bus and how to get it. So we just walked down from the exit of the airport here to here. We bought our bus token here. We're now just getting ready to board the number ten, I think it is there, to Los Castellanos way, and I believe. Number 40. Oh, 40, Sorry. I believe that's going to take us where we need to go. And this is the card that we just got from that little ATM card machine. We've got 10 euro on here and that should be enough for our journey today. Just a, a point as well, if you are going to be using public transport in Spain, masks are still mandatory and people were just refused entry onto it. So bring a mask. Yeah, today is the 31st of October. Um, don't know what the rules are at the time if you watch it. Yeah, check before you go. Okay, so we're off the bus now in Tenerife. Oh, lamp post, lamp post alert. <laughs> okay, so we're off the bus now in Tenerife. Uh, we got off at a stop called Central Centre, which is a eight minute walk to H10 Conquistador. So yeah, we didn't actually know what stop we were getting off, but if you stay in here, Central Centre seems to be the one. Yeah, we'll see what the hotel's like when we get in there. Just now it's on the other side of the road as well. There is a bus stop for Sham Park, which could prove very useful for us. So we've just arrived at the hotel now. This is the H10 Conquistador. Let's see what it's like inside. Oh, it looks like they've got some decorations up for Halloween. Very spooky. So I think I've walked to the bar area instead of the just instinct. front desk. <laughs> <laughs> See if we can figure out where we're going. Let's have a look at this while I'm here though. So here we are here on Halloween. Also we are wondering if we should get a Halloween costume tonight and if we do we might be a little bit hard pressed to find a costume shop but we'll see. Looks like there's a Halloween show on tonight, wonder what that is. This is really cool. Even the front desk is looking really spooky. What's happening? 
Okay, so I'm just wanting to go and have a little quick look around. We're not doing a full hotel tour today, but that will be coming in the future in a separate video. Okay, so we've just arrived at the room now. We're in five, two, one. Respect. Here we go. The grand unveiling. This feels bigger than it looks on pictures. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. It's a fun shape. And also, can I, just, can I just immediately, I know we've got the room to look at, but can I just immediately go to... I'm nervous. ...the sea view, because... <gasps> oh, it is a sea view! It's a proper sea view. Oh, amazing. Oh, yeah, that's what we wanted. Look at that. Oh, and it's a pool view. We've got the pool down there. See out there. We were going to stay privilege, um, which is basically you get some free thing by paying more. And you get your own access to this room and terrace. It's literally facing me. <laughs> so I'm thinking what could have been. Oh yeah, so that terrace up there is for guests who have something called privilege, basically. Which is like you get a standard room, with, but they get the best views and then they get access to this terrace, among other things too. Um, it's massive. This whole resort looks huge. Yeah, I'm very happy with this. It's five. It's a five on-site restaurants. Can't remember the amount. We'll, we'll we'll find out more as we get through the. Um, I mean, we're doing a separate hotel tour, right? So we'll find out more as we do that. But yeah, we're going to freshen up now. Get a couple of bottles of water on uh, compliments of the hotel as well. With H10, they normally give you free cocktail for staying with them as part of the reward scheme but this is the first one where we've not had that so after me saying they didn't have the welcome cocktails at this particular hotel the conquistador at half four this afternoon we got a knock on the door and they brought us these welcome chocolates so there's four different truffles in there and this is just showing that we get the free cocktail here because we're h10 members let's notice some smoke coming from the stage and the playing green day just for me sun is starting to set over the sea as well. It looks so pretty. And just see down there, a bit of live entertainment, lady playing the sax. Okay, so we're just out on the balcony now. We are having some of the local delicacy, which is a dorada. Um, it's not focusing in, there we go. Focus on me. Yeah. <laughs> um, we've got some great saxophone playing in the background. Yeah. Laura's, are you ready? I'm ready. I've been, I've been sat here for hours, guys. Bloody hell. Um, no, I'm ready. But they've had some good music on while I've been getting ready. Bit of Green Day, bit of Robbie. <laughs> they do have a Halloween event on tonight at the hotel. Undecided if we're going to watch that or head out ourselves or both. But. Yeah, we'll. Uh, we'll be getting some buffet from the uh, restaurant tonight and we'll show you some of that when we get that there. Just want to show the pool now that they're all lit up. There's quite a few different pools, we've got that one there, we've got that one that's sort of conjoined and then just in the distance there, that one is the infinity pool. Yeah, I love how this looks at night. So, Dane's just looking now for the drinks menu. So, yes. yeah, yeah, QR code, Jobbo, as usual. because it's so cool for Halloween. So just starting with the first course, they make the spaghetti carbonara fresh. There's so many fresh stations over here and I will show you that properly. And then got a chicken wrap as well. Dane's pretty much got the same thing. But you gotta do a crab party. It's gone now. It was really good. <laughs> this is what they've got for Halloween. I love the display, but also the Jack Skeleton cake. Moment of appreciation for the Jack Skeleton cake. That's amazing. We got things like Cream's already melting. But look at these cute little desserts. We got a little mousse with a ghost on it. Always melting. Oh, he's Sugar skull, little pumpkin, little mummy guy, and another mummy. That's just a, a few of them. I will go back and show the whole range, like the Jack Skeleton cake. But yeah, this is awesome. So we got this that looks like a seven hand. The cupcakes are really cute. So they were actually cake pops, just tried one of them, they were really nice. Yeah, 
I should have just seen them. The stuff are dressed up as well. It looks really, really good. Yeah, decorations everywhere. Amazing. <laughs> the staff look amazing here. I just think so much thought's gone into this. I've never been somewhere like this before. H10, you're out doing yourself here at Crunchy Store. So we've just headed outside to the outdoor entertainment section. Again, a few Halloween decorations up here. So we've come down to catch some of the entertainment. Same sex often as we saw from our balcony before. It is so busy. Look how packed it is. So we're quite far back. If you want to get an idea for how dear the drinks are, scan this QR code on your screen now. Also, we've got some Vina Paceta from uh, the buffet. And we've made our way towards the back of the entertainment area. Um, this is focusing. Sorry. And because we made our way to the back of the entertainment area, basically, um, they had no glasses. So, we're drinking from the bottle. We are classy. Okay, so we've just gone to the Bull's Head in part of the La Paz Strip. It was really good. Uh, the band was excellent. They were brilliant. We really enjoyed that. We even got up and had a little bit of a dance. <laughs> yeah, they were taking requests, weren't they? They were. they were. They were playing their own stuff, but also taking requests, which is great. Uh, this lighting is not very appealing at all. But uh, we've lined by palm trees, so it's a bit Salou-esque, which is quite nice. Yeah. So we're going to sign out the vlog here. We'll catch up with you either tomorrow or the next day. We're not planning on doing too many vlogs while we're here. But if you have liked the video, please do feel free to give us a big thumbs up. And do subscribe to the channel for our future videos as well. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.